We can talk about one team who's already been to Wembley uh, this season. Lowest off town season has been extended, as we told you last weekend. Uh, beyond the FA Vars final, they're taking on the national team of Antigua and Barbuda in a friendly at Bungie Towns ground uh, tomorrow. It's not happening at Crown Meadow because they're uh, upgrading their facilities over the course of the summer, so the ground's out of action. Uh, so Antigua and Barbuda, they're over here preparing some f for some forthcoming World Cup qualifiers. And we've been speaking today to their manager, Fernando Abraham. The football team is over here on the tour and uh, we're here on a mission uh, we want to be at the world cup 2010 and we think that um, for us to do this we have to come to england and get all the preparation that we need to get there <laughs> and of course your qualification starts when it's uh, well we'll be playing against cuba on the 17th of june in antigua and in cuba on the 22nd of june and uh, who else is in your group? Well, that, that's um, the second round. If we go past the second round, then we get into the third round, which will be group stages. Mm -hmm. And the likely teams in the, in the group stages would have been uh, United States, Trinidad and Guatemala. The United States, that yes. sounds a bit tough. Yeah, yes, yes. But um, we think that uh, with the help of Ipswich that they're giving us here to use the facility here, uh, anything is possible. So how did you get to hear of uh, the facilities around this this area? All right, we, we happen to be lucky to have um, Brian Hamilton and Willie Don Donachie, uh involved with the national team of Antigua, and they're the ones who have you know instrumental in organising this this um, training camp here in in Ipswich. Tell us a bit about your players. I mean, where where do the majority of them play? Uh, most of all players are amateur players, and they play in Antigua. Um, however, we have about five players that are playing in the Pro League in Trinidad and this is where we, we, we get uh, most of our, our players from, the local league as well as the, the five players in, in Trinidad. So how would you assess your chances uh, of uh, first of all getting past Cuba? Well, we think our chances are very good. Um, we've been in training for the last uh, four, five and a half weeks. Um, we've been working very hard um, with the help of uh, Willie Donnici and Brian and all local coaches. I see no reason why we can't beat Cuba. Yeah. And uh, once you've got past that and uh, if you can get into that group stage, I suppose anything can happen. Yes, uh, anything can happen. When you have six games to play, um, I mean to say, well, uh, on a given day, um, some teams have a bad day and we could just be the one who uh, is in good shape that day and, and defeat United States. And that would be something that the whole world would talk about. And that's what we're aiming for right now. Uh, we think that um, we've been very lucky um, so far. We've beaten Aruba in the first stage uh, on a 4-0 aggregate. Uh, Cuba is our next team. We could have chose, uh, we could have gotten from the pick um, Mexico or Canada or so, but it was Cuba and uh, we are very happy for that. And we think that we have a very good chance in going to the third round. And of course it's not unknown for countries like Antigua with no perhaps uh, basis in terms of uh, worldwide reputation of actually going through and getting to the finals. Yeah, that's true. Um, the Trinidadians have done it, the Jamaicans have done it, and I think this is our time to do it now. Um, we're also um, hoping that uh, we can get a couple of um, players who have antique in parenthood, who are living in England, to, to be a part of our setup. <laughs> <laughs> so so th th there's an advert out, is there, for all Antiguans in, in Britain? Yes, yes. They come over and let's see their skills and um, we'll take it from there. <laughs> you're playing two games while you're over here. What do you know about the opposition? Not much. Um, low stuff uh, that we are playing tomorrow. I, I was told they were just um, coming back from Wembley. They, they played there about two, two and a half weeks ago um, in the, um, the cup, the local cup, and uh, got defeated 2-0, I was told. But I'm not going to take them lightly. We're going to go out there and play as hard as we can to try and defeat them. How many players have you actually brought over? Uh, w currently, there, there are 19 players here at the moment, but we're hoping for another uh, three or four to join us. And uh, presumably, while they're over here, most of them will get a game in one of the two fixtures. Yes, of course. That's the whole idea, to, to give them a chance to, to play out there and then hope that, you know, um, we'll get the best out of everyone. After tomorrow's match, then presumably it's a week of training before you play your second game against Ipswich Wanderers. Yeah, Ipswich Wanderers is the next team coming up. 
and uh, I was told that's that's a pretty distant team also so we're looking forward to that I understand they're gonna be a carbon flavor on that day and uh, they'll be still went out and a lot of rum punch and stuff like that <laughs> floating around so I'm asking everybody to come out and enjoy it uh, so Fernando Abraham he's the uh, team manager of Antigua and Barbuda and so they're playing lowest of town at Bungay Towns uh, ground tomorrow afternoon one o'clock kickoff then a week tomorrow they're playing Ipswich Wanderers so they're hanging around for a while and Ed Nichols from uh, from Wanderers is on the line now evening Ed Good evening, Mark. This is all a bit of a coup, isn't it, for the for the pair of you, uh, for well, the two teams? It is. It's uh, it's quite amazing how it all came about, and uh, obviously I thought it would be rather nice for Wanderers to have a fixture like this as well, to uh, uh, really, as we've had a bit of a, 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 pardon the pun, a blue season, I think, with the relegation blues, but it would give Steve Buckle a chance to uh, look for next season, and we can start to build on this now. Yes, it is a coup. You, we heard in that interview there with with the manager that Brian Hamilton's been been working with them. Is that what happened? Did he just uh, call you guys or? What? Yeah, well, basically, um, it's my coach company, Gemini Travel. Um, Brian had um, you know asked us to do the transportation of it, and in conversation with him, um, just basically uh, asked the itinerary and just uh, really took a long shot and said, "Well, okay, a couple of Saturdays free. Um, is there any chance that you could play Wanderers?" And he, he jumped at it and he said, "Yes, that'd be ideal for their preparation." Yeah, so um, we've got these uh, couple of nice games. Could be, uh, could, could attract a decent crowd, couldn't it? Well, I hope it does. Um, what I'm, I mean, we've got a bit of sponsorship from Team Ipswich, um, which is Ipswich Borough Council, you know, trying to bid mm. for bits of the Olympics, and uh, we've got a bit of sponsorship there from them. And um, really what we're trying to do is bring in the Caribbean um, community as well, because I think it would be really enjoyable and it would be lovely to have a, a fun day there. Although we all take the football seriously, of course, um, we have arranged for a steel band to be up there, um, the gates will open at 12 o'clock, and um, we hope that that'll be, um, what should I say, football played with a bit of a smile on its face, yes. And, and particularly, we, we heard from the, from the manager there, they're quite happy to, to uh, talk to anybody f with Antigua and Extraction who, who might be living over here and might, might turn out to be useful for them. Well, absolutely, and I'm sure that there must be some um, people from uh, Ipswich who've got uh, antique and grandparents and, and what have you. I mean, the Irish are very good at doing this and uh, um, finding out if they've got grandparents or great-grandparents of uh, Irish descent. And I'm sure the Antiguans could do the same on this because uh, it's, a, you know, it's a lovely island and uh, the people are absolutely marvellous and, uh, and very friendly, and I think um, we'd like to see Antigua strengthen, yes. And, of course, the, the big question, is there a return fixture, Ed? I would hope so, but I'd have to go and sort that out myself, wouldn't I, first? <laughs> well, if you do sort it out, I've got, I think there's every chance we might cover it. <laughs> okay, <then> Mark. <laughs> right, but we know one o'clock for the lower stuff game at Bungie tomorrow. What, what, uh, yeah. give, us, give us the times for yours. Right, it's two. Well, the gates open at 12. There will be a Caribbean uh, band, still band there. They'll be starting about an hour before kickoff. The gates open at 12. That's a week Saturday. And kickoff is at 2 o'clock. The admission price is at £7 for adults and £5 for um, pensioners, so it's not often that you, for £7 you get to see an international side. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping for a very big turnout and hopefully that um, Ipswich will support the event well and uh, certainly we'd love to draw in more of the Caribbean um, Association and uh, people in town and make them feel really welcome. Yeah. Well, we wish you all the best with it, Ed. Thanks for coming on tonight. OK, thanks, Mark. That's, Thank you. That's uh, Ed Nichols from Ipswich Wanderers. So uh, Antigua and Barbuda playing them a week tomorrow, and it's Lowestoft Town tomorrow at Bungie Towns Ground. Just turn half six. Yeah.